calculation of the metric, huh? Yeah. Still remember? Mm. No, the... This is the row and the column only, huh? Yeah? So we will look at the metric if, let's say, we have more than one row and more than one column. So how do we want to multiply the metrics? So we still use the same thing. Use the exclusive or huh? after you multiply every row and every column. We still use the exclusive or to combine the answer together. So after this, we will have to find the group code ourselves. Now in the previous part, now we need to determine whether the codes given is a group code or not by using a subgroup condition. So we have three conditions for subgroup, right? That is to determine whether it is a group code or not. But if let's say they ask you to find the group code by ourselves, then how do we want to do? Okay, let's say we have this huh? matrix like this. Now we want to determine what is the group code for this parity check matrix. If let's say you have a matrix given, you want to find the group code, you need to divide this matrix to two parts. One is the identity matrix. This one, which is the three columns. So this is the three by three identity matrix. And the matrix above for the two rows here, it will be H23. Okay? Now, we will only use the first two rows when we find the group code. Okay? This 110, 010. And then you need to decide what is the matrix in front that can multiply with this H23. Now, because the dimension for this is 2 by 3, yeah? 2 rows and 3 columns. So, when you multiply the matrix in front here, must have 2 rows also, right? And 2 columns also. They only can multiply, right? So, if the matrix is 2 columns, meaning that they have 2 bits only, 2 bits. If you have 2 bits, how many different combinations? bits. How many different combinations we have? Mm. Huh? Mm. 4, right? 2 power 2. Huh? So we have a 0, 0, 0, 1, just like our truth table, 1, 0, and 1, 1. This is the matrix that we have. Uh. Now, we will multiply these two first and the outcomes, you should know, it should be 4 by 3. Lah. 3 bits, uh, the outcome. Okay, look at the row here and the co uh, column here. Then we will take the first row here, multiply the first column. So, 0, go back to the last week, that one. 0 multiply 1 is 0. 0 multiply 0 is 0. So the first one is 0. 2 0, right? Then you take the first row, multiply the second column. Also, both also 0. Correct not? First one multiply the 1 here, 0. 0 multiply the second one here, also 0. So both 0 means 0 here. Then you multiply with the third column. All also 0. First row, 0. Column also zero, so you will get zero. After that, we will take the second row, multiply with the first column. So the first bit is zero multiply one, is zero. One multiply zero also zero. Second row, multiply the second column. First one is 0, second one is 1. So we have 1, 1, right? 1, 1, the answer is 1. Then the second row, column, uh, second row multiply the third column. D 
these two are zero, so of course you will get zero. Okay? And now the third row multiply the first column. Only the first element here, after you multiply, you get one. So if you have one one, means the answer is one. Second column, two one, but the second one after you multiply zero and one, you get zero. So we only have one one here. And the third column, zero also. Then come to the fourth row, first column. So we have one one. This one two also one. Right? The second column. After you multiply the first one is one. Second one also one. If two one in your answer, what is the total after exclusive of? One exclusive or one. What do you get? This one is one. This one also one, right? So it should be zero. Huh? And the third one, both also zero. So we get zero here. Now, this is the outcome that we have after you multiply the two, three matrix here with the two bits in front. And the outcome is actually the extra bit. Because you see this, they say obtain a 2, 5 group code. Meaning that now we encode from 2 bits to 5 bits. We send a message with 2 bits, the person who receives will be 5 bits message. So the extra 3 bit is from here. Okay? When you want to write the Encoding from two bits, you can write it as E00. That means I encode from the two bits here. And you combine it with the three bits at the back. So the person who receives the message will be these two. Combined with the three at the back, it becomes five bits. Same also if now I encode the zero 01, which is the second one. Then the receive the message is 01010. So we just combine the extra bits with the one that we encode. 10, 11, 0. Encode 11, one, one, we have 11100. One, so this is from the extra bits we get here. And the message that the person received, 5 bits, is from the 2 bits that we sent. Combined with the 3 bits, extra bits that we get from here. Understand? So this is how we find the encode from 2 to 5 bits and this code here will be a group code. Meaning that you no need to prove this is the subgroup already. No need to prove that this code here is a subgroup of B5. If the code you find this by yourself huh, using the parity check matrix, right? Then for sure all the codes here will be a group code. So if they ask you to find the minimum distance, you just look at the distance of the codes here enough already. No need to form a table anymore. Okay, just look from the four here, which one is minimum. So the solution is there. Have you done? Like this question here, obtain the this one is two five right using the parity check matrix. So this one you find the three six group code using this matrix given. 
follow this method and multiply it with the H matrix here. So you need to determine what is the uh, what is the identity matrix, what is the dimension of your matrix H, and then what is the front matrix here. In order, it can multiply with your matrix given here. Then only multiply. Okay, so you try to do this. Eh? Follow the method I showed you just now. the matrix that we have here the dimension for this H here what is the dimension for this case? we want to do the encoding right so if they didn't give you you encode from how many bits to how many bits but they only give you the matrix like this we can find ourselves also how many bits they need to encode from if you have this matrix this is 3 by 3 so what is the matrix here how many rows how many columns who can give me The matrix here must be how many columns? Three columns, right? If three columns, how many rows? Eight. Eight, yes. So that means uh, we will encode from three bits. And what is the outcome here? After you multiply. How many bits? How to see the outcome? 
This one is 8 by 3, this one is 3 by 3. So outcome must be 8 by 3. 3 bits, right? 3 bits outcome, right? So this one you encode from 3 bits. Extra bits you get at the back. 3 bits. Look at the row and the column here. The outcome. If you want to determine the two matrix can multiply or not, we look at this one and this one, right? If they are the same, they can multiply. And after multiply, what is the outcome of the matrix? We look at this one and this one. Oh, because 3 bits, huh? when you construct the truth table, P, Q, R, how many rows you have? P, Q, still remember your previous description? Huh? When you have the truth table, P, Q, R, how many rows you have? 8 rows, right? Uh, so, you will have this, uh, same like the truth table, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Still remember this, ah? Remember, ah? This is how you get the egg rolls, ah? Okay? So you need to know now, if let's say it is 2 bits, it's just like your truth table P and Q only. If 3 bits, then you have P, Q, R, lo? 3 statements, ah? So whenever you have three three bits, right? This one it should be the PQR. So you have eight rows. Uh. Understand, ah? Uh? Okay, multiply. Thank you. 
first row, all zero. No matter what do you multiply, you will get zero also. Second row, zero, zero, one. Now, if let's say you want to multiply the zero, zero, one with the first column, you will have one, zero, one here. And you know that zero multiply anything also zero for the first two bits, correct or not? So we don't need to look at the first two rows anymore. Lah. Because the first two bits will always multiply with the first two rows, right? Correct? So just look at the last row. Last row is the one that this bit one here will multiply with. So if your last row, you see this one, this one here will multiply with this one for the first column. So we get one one already. That means answer is one. Zero, so one multiply zero is zero. Third one, one. Then straight away you get one zero. Look at the last bit one only. Because the last bit one will multiply with the third bit every column. Correct not? The last bit one here, when you multiply this row, let's say this is the second row, this is the first column. When you multiply this, only this bit will multiply this one, right? The first two, zero, you multiply anything, also zero. So you no need to see already. Lah. Only look at the third one, which is multiplied with the third row. This one, third row. So straight away, you get this, this one already. Correct? That's why here, the first bit answer is one. Then, if you multiply the row 2 with the second column and you look at the last bit, first two are 0 already. So, the last bit here, 1 multiply 0 is straight away 0. That's why the second bit is 0. Okay? And if you multiply with the third column, 0, 1, 1. This one, ah, 0, 1, 1, ah, the second row. Ah. So, only the third bit again, you get 1. That's why the third bit here is 1. Can you understand? This is how we can multiply first. If you go to multiply every bit, uh, one matrix, uh, I think you need 5 minutes to multiply finish, right? But if you use this method, you just look at which one I have possible to get 1. Then you multiply that one only. The 0, 2 in front here, don't see anymore. Because 0 multiply anything, also 0. Only look at the possible to get one, which is the last bit one here. So you only need to look at the third part, third row in your column here. Because only the third row will multiply with the third bits in this row. Okay? Then straight away you get one, zero, one. For the second row. Okay, understand now? Then if you use this method for the third row, ah, third row, the second bit is 1, right? Second bit will multiply with the second row here, correct not? What is the answer? one is second uh, fourth row uh, zero one one we 
multiply just now the first first column, we get one here. Okay, and then zero one one second column one one zero. How many one here? The second and the third only this one right? One right? The rest are zero. Zero one one with the third uh, column. How many one? Two. So if two one answer is zero. Two one. This one is one. This one also one. So one and one zero. So the fourth row answer will be one one zero. Fifth row, first bit is one, so only look at the first row, right? So answer is one one zero. Sixth row, the first and the third are one. First and the third, so look at the first and the third. First column here also one. That means I will have two one after multiply. So this one is zero, this one is one, and this is one. Only look at the first row and the third row after multiply. So first and the third, this one is two one. That's why we get zero. This one we get one one. First and the third, so one. Third and the first here also one. So we get one. Can okay, okay. How many cannot? Anyone cannot? Raise your hand. Cannot. Any more? Only one person. If you cannot write, you try to write out this one first. Let's say now I do the number six row. Ah. Okay, I do the number six row, one zero one. Multiply with the first column here. Ah. This one is one zero one, right? Okay. Now, only the first and the third here are one, right? So we look at the one here. First will multiply with the first. Third will multiply with the third, correct? So after multiply, how many one we have? Two. Okay. If two one means one exclusive or one, right? If two one, even number of one, then we get zero. Okay? That's why the first bit here answer is zero. Okay. If you multiply the second column right now using the same row, then you will have 101. One. You multiply the second column, 110. Uh, one, uh. So you see here, the first one, you get 1. The rest, all 0, right? So the answer is 1. Okay. And same also, if you multiply the sixth row with the third column, then you have 011. One, one. Only the third bit is 1. This one, the first is 0 already. Third bit is 1. So we get 1 also. Lah. That's why it's 0, 1, 1. Okay? Then, what is the answer for the 7 one? 7 row? Answer for the 7 row? One, one, first two bits. First two bits. <coughs> Class. What is the answer for the seven row? One, zero, one. Eight row. Zero, 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 yes. Because all the column after multiply, you get two one, right? So if two one, then you have the even number. So even number is zero. Okay. Now, if you already get the outcome of this extra three bits, so what we are going to do now is to combine all the encoding function. So you can uh, just put the code 
in the table form or you want to write one by one, no problem. The this one you can put it as 000 here and then this one is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6 bits. Right? So if you encode, uh, if you want to write E, this one equal to this also can. If you want to put it in the table form, also no problem. This is 0, 0, 001, and you will get 0, 0, 001, 1, 0, 1. 6 bits, huh? 001, 001, 001. And also the rest, huh? you will combine all together the 3 bits here with the 3 bits at the back. Then you will get all the 8 chord, which is the group chord. So this example is to give you how to multiply matrix. Huh? Okay. Now, if you already know how to multiply the matrix, we will look at the decoding already. Is there any more question? No more. Huh? Now, when we go to the decoding, right? If you already have the group code, then when you do the decoding, you will have three methods to decode. Decoding means if let's say I receive a message now, I want to know what is the original code they sent. Then I can find back what is the original code. Like this one, you encode 3 bits, you get these 6 bits, right? So now if let's say you receive these 6 bits, what is the original 3 bits they sent? You can find it another way. Okay. So we have 3 methods to do the decoding here. Then the first method is the easiest. Which we will use the distance to find the distance among the code that we have, and which one have the minimum distance, we will decode that. For example, uh, this is method we call as maximum likelihood. Uh, even though the name is maximum likelihood decoding function, but the method we use is to find the minimum distance. So don't confuse. Uh. Okay, let's say we use the example here. And we want to do using the maximum likelihood technique, which we need to find the distance of the code that we want to decode with the code words that we have. Let's say the question gives you these four codes. Huh? You want to decode 01010. Now, when you want to decode this, we write D. You encode, you write E. Decode 01010 means that I want to, I want to find what is the original code they sent, right? So out of the four here, one of them is 01010. That means when I decode this, I will get 01. You can straight away find from here. When you decode this, you get 01. When you encode 01, you get 01010. Decode 01010, equal to 01. Okay? Now, if let's say the part 2 you want to decode 10111, then what happened? 10111 is not one of the code given in this form. So how should we do? If we want to find the distance, we want to find which code out of these four here is the nearest to this, the one that you want to decode. So you can do it this way. You write out all the four codes first. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. And then here, you put the code you want to decode. Okay? You find the distance of all these four with this code. Is the distance for the first one using the exclusive all method also? Find the distance previously. How do we do the find the distance between two cards? You take the exclusive all one zero one 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 with zero 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 exclusive all. Answer is one zero one one one, right? How many one here? Four. So the distance is four. So this distance is 4. How about this one? This 
distance? How many bits are different? How many bits are different? Four. Four. This one? One. One. This one? Three. Three. Okay? Now, for this part here, when you find the different bits after you found one, this is the minimum distance, right? One is the minimum. Meaning that, instead of we decode the rest of the code, we will de decode the nearest one. So, when you decode this, it will be equal to, I decode the 10110, which is equal to, what is the original code for 10110 here? <coughs> when you encode 10, you get 110, 101, right? So, when you decode 10110, you get back? 10, no need to write E, 10 on. Okay. So, the maximum likelihood here is to give you the answer of the code after you find the distance, which code that you want to decode the distance with all the four here is the minimum. Then you decode that one. Understand? Huh? So, this is the maximum likelihood method, decoding. Zero, one, one, zero. Okay, then you will get one zero. So this is the method uh, for maximum likelihood. Uh. So in your tutorial, you have a few questions uh, using this method. You can just put it in a table like this and then I write the distance out. What is the distance? Uh, which one minimum? Then you decode that one. Uh. Okay, now you need a break or not? After that, we have two more methods for decoding. We take a shot right now.
two again. Zero zero one zero 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 one one zero one zero zero one zero and one one zero zero zero. Position number bit number two. If we still do the same like uh, just now, what we will get the outcome here is the first one will have zero one zero zero zero. So if you go and check back the <coughs> column at the row before, you can see that this is the same with this, right? Zero one zero zero zero. It means if let's say the code you get here it repeats the first the previous row, that means that the whole rows will repeat the same code. So you no need to waste your time to find the rest of the three codes anymore. If this is a repeated answer from the previous row, we will ignore this row. We we want to find all the codes in the table here are different. If it is the same, we don't want that row. Okay? So make sure all the codes that you have found here are all different codes. Now, maybe you will ask, how many rows I need to do? When can I stop? Now, how many codes you have is depends on how many bits the code given here. If now you have 5 bits, then total how many bits? How many different codes we can have? If 5 bits. Just now when I asked you to construct the matrix, 3 bits, you say you have 8 rows, right? That means you have 8 different codes, correct or not? What happens if now I have 5 bits? How many rows I should have?
Okay, so we will ignore this, ah. Now, go to the first position of one. First position. So we will have one zero 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 zero, one one zero one zero, zero zero one one zero, and zero one one zero zero. So this is the different code now. See, you cannot find from the previous row. Right? Okay. Now, we already have how many rows here? How many rows we have already? one 